is going on, Jets? It's RPM here, coming at you with another episode of Hockey Mask Time. Now, before I get started, let us bow our heads and recite the HMT motto, shall we? A man can only take so much disrespect before he finally decides today's the day. Gentlemen, we return to the country that never fails to deliver. That's right, Maskistan. <laughs> now this article was published on the 2nd of February. Man terminates wife during fight. Calls police control room to surrender. Gentlemen, that sounds like another man who after years of arguing and fighting finally had enough. Now this is one hell of a name that I'm gonna try to pronounce. The Rammer Mirth Nagar police have arrested a 46-year-old man who bludgeoned his 44-year-old wife to death with a dumbbell before calling the police control room to inform them about the incident on Thursday. This man took working out his problem to the ultimate level. Talk about exercising the demon that was in his house. So therefore, his house is clear. <laughs> I truly ain't shit. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right here. Woo! The accused, Morris Manahara is a resident on Hoysala Street in Ramamurth, Nagar, who is a technician at a private telecom company. He married his wife, Lydia, 18 years ago, and the couple have three children. Inquiries with the neighbors revealed that the couple used to fight frequently as Morris suspected her of infidelity, according to the police. Infidelity, that is one thing that Indian men in particular do not play with. Mm -hmm. How many HMTs have I done of Indian men who suspected their wife or girlfriend of being unfaithful? Plenty. And believe you me, gentlemen, there will be plenty more. The couple fought after the children left for school on Thursday. During the fight, Morris allegedly repeatedly attacked her with a dumbbell and deleted her. He later called the police control room, led police personnel to the house and narrated what happened. The police found Lydia in a pool of her own blood. Morris was then taken into custody. Well, well, well. Like I said before, when it comes to Indian men, infidelity is something that to them is one of the greatest forms of betrayal. However, his wife did not make the situation any better. All she had to do was calm him down, give him all the evidence to prove that she's innocent. But as we know, the modern woman honestly wants to act as manly as possible and try to argue you down. 
Mm -mm. No, ladies, that is not going to work in today's world. Men are already tightly wound and all it takes is an argument to make a man in his position snap. Anyway, let's get to that scorecard, shall we? For location, went down in the home. Gotta give it a 10. Method of execution, the dumbbell of destruction. Gotta give that one a 15. Psychological impact. Since the kids weren't around and didn't witness anything, I'm going to give this one a five. And for the brutality factor. Come on now. He bludgeoned her. Yeah, that was not a quick or easy way to go. So I got to give that one a 20. So Morris, the mad masher, Manahara, gets a score of 50. However, I'm going to give him another five just for the uniqueness of what was used to actually do the job in the form of exercise equipment. Man, I tell you, that right there shows you we men can turn anything into a deadly weapon if so thoroughly enraged. But like I said before, women honestly think men are quote unquote insecure or controlling. When we say, hey, we think you might be being unfaithful. Oh, you're just insecure. You're not a real man. A real man doesn't ask questions like that. No, no, no. They were married for 18 years. Ladies, when you marry a man, guess what? That man, your husband, should have access to all of your stuff. Social media, your phone, all of it. That's part of the contract. Privacy? Oh, no, 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 no. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You don't get privacy anymore. But that's another reason why so many men are saying, you know what, marriage, nah, mm-mm. Mm -mm. But yeah, ladies, if a man does decide to marry you, you need to give him the keys to everything. That way, that man doesn't have to worry about you potentially being unfaithful. Do you know how much stress that is on a man to try to conquer the world, come home, and potentially have a traitor living in his house? Talk about sleeping with the potential enemy. No, that really, really puts far too much stress on us as men, which is another reason why a lot of men are saying screw relationships altogether, because that's something right there that I have to think about constantly in the back of my mind. My woman has social media. Who is in her DMs? Who is she contacting behind my back? Yeah, nope. Nope, nope. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And women around the world who continue to believe that you should maintain your privacy even after you get married, believe you me. The power you think you have in that quote unquote privacy, being able to do things behind your husband or boyfriend's back will go out. Feminism and the belief that the court of public opinion is always gonna have your back, that might go out right along with it. But trust and believe, far too many women are harboring secrets in that cell phone and on social media that if they do come out, yeah, more and more men might take matters into their own hands. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. 
RPM. I am out. Woke up. Murder on my mind. Yeah. Losing all my hope. Yeah. I'ma do the crime. Yeah. Fuck the red or blue. I'ma take the black pill. Yeah. Fuck the red or blue. I'ma take the black pill.